Let us imagine you wish to search for more signs in the dictionary. Go back to the search field and delete the word in the green area search field. This gives you the full dictionary again. How do I leaf through the dictionary? There are arrows at the bottom of the screen, the bottom of the green dictionary. Click on the small arrow and keep clicking and as you can see you're leafing through the dictionary, one sign after the other. There are around 8,000 signs in this dictionary. You can use the double arrows to go to the end of the dictionary or the double arrows the other way to go to the beginning. And you think, well, these signs are way too crowded. I can barely read them. There are so many in one little area. I want to make it bigger or smaller. Up at the top of the green dictionary, you see a minus and a plus sign. If you go plus, that means that you have a bigger space for each sign in the dictionary. And you, if you click plus again, it gets bigger still and bigger still. And every time you do that, down at the bottom of the dictionary area, see my mouse, it's pointing here in this area, there are now 2,524 pages. But if you go back up and click on the minus to make it smaller, now there are 842 pages because there are more to one page. And go minus again, now there are only 421 pages. Minus again, and it gets smaller yet. And can we go smaller still? We can. Wow. That's really cool. So you can go bigger or smaller. And when you do go bigger, of course, these arrows take you to the next page or the last page. And it changes depending on the size. I like this size. This looks good to me. So let me see. What do I want to look for? I want to see what in the world does this sign mean? Hmm. And when I look at the sign in the yellow box and I look under the dictionary tab, it tells me that it means hearing or a hearing person. And the word is a little bit big here, so I can barely read the whole word, but you can put your, your mouse on top of it and see the little definition right on the sign in the dictionary. That really helps. That's a hearing person or hearing. And over to the far right, you see the sign spelling column. And these are the symbols in the sign and what sequence the writer felt was important for sorting dictionaries.